What's going on, Dope Nation? Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the Easter egg, Pop Goes the Weasel, and the Matt Mob of the Dead. First, I want to give a shout out to Super Saiyan 3303. He helped me make this video. Just to show us some love, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Alright, let's get started. First, you want to feed three dogs. First dog's outside the spawn room. Second dog's on the docks. Lastly, the dog up by the roof. After that, you're going to want to grab your free tomahawk. Next, you're going to want to get a blender cat. You can get either the one out of the box or a free one from the table. Next, you need to upgrade your blender cat into the acid cat. After that, you're going to want to take the plane up to the bridge. Once the electric chair is spawned, just go ahead and take those right off the bat. Next, you're going to want to throw your tomahawk at this map right outside the warden's room. It's going to open up a hole in this wall for an afterlife. Just go into afterlife mode. And then you're just going to walk through the hole that opened up in the wall. You're going to see a spoon on the ground. Go ahead and shock the spoon. Next, you want to go to the cafeteria. Once in the cafeteria, you're going to see another spoon on the table. You want to go ahead and throw your tomahawk at that spoon. Okay, so here's the table right here and here's the spoon. Just go ahead and throw your tomahawk at it. After that, you just want to take the plane one more time. And then a second time. Once you get back from the second plane ride, you're going to go over to the spiral staircase and enter afterlife. You're going to want to go down to where the numbers are. And you're going to want to type in the numbers... 101 then the numbers are going to shift to the left then you're going to type in 872 then again 386 And lastly, you're going to want to enter the numbers 481. Now after this, I'm going to go ahead and resume the auto so you guys can hear because this is an awesome part. It explains the whole map of Mob of the Dead and why everybody's there. So I'm going to go ahead and cue the audio for you guys. So you want to know the truth? My name is Stanley Ferguson. I was a guard at Alcatraz from 1933 to 1942. Today, I'm going to give you some insight into one of the more interesting tales from the prison's history. Over the decades, Alcatraz has seen more than its fair share of daring escape attempts. However, few were as audacious as the one undertaken by four inmates on New Year's Eve, 1933. Thought to be the brainchild of an inmate by the name of Albert Arlington, the outrageous scheme was as unlikely as its mastermind. <laughs> Alright guys, now you're just going to go around the map and collect these green headphones. They only show up one at a time, so collect them in the order shown. a foolproof plan to escape the rock. It was a plan that would see them literally taking to the skies on a makeshift aircraft of all of them's own design. Just how the weasel managed to convince these hardened criminals that such a plan was even possible remains a mystery to this day. What is known is that no such plane was ever built. Instead, the group's plans for freedom soon descended into bitter argument and infighting. With the plan falling apart, anger and frustration would ultimately lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided Arlington and his former co-conspirators. Armed only with makeshift weapons, Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, 
where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. And so it was here, beneath the dark and stormy winter skies, that the hapless Arlington met his grisly end, bleeding to death on the cold concrete roof. For their participation in the murder, the three collaborators were sent to death by electric chair. Justice came swiftly. On the morning of January 19, 1934, the execution order was carried out. Alright guys, now you want to have you and everybody in the game press X on this afterlife box to go into afterlife mode. Now you guys want to head up to the roof. Once you go out to the roof, just step behind the plane and press X to jump on. At this point, it's going to take you guys to the Golden Gate Bridge, and it's going to tell you after a minute to kill Weasel. It's going to tell Weasel to kill everybody else. It doesn't matter who kills who, the game's still going to end, and you'll have your achievement. So I'm going to cue the audio again just to let you guys hear the rest. Well, that was pretty cool, guys, right? So as you can see, Super Saiyan killed me, and that ended the game. That's it, guys. Now you'll have the achievement, Pop Goes the Weasel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Dope. Out.